The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is ready to collaborate with the electoral umpire, INEC, to curb vote of buying during the 2023 general elections. The chairman of EFCC, Abdurashid Bawa, said this after defending the Commission's 2023 budget before the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption. Bawa said that the Commission would partner with INEC to arrest and prosecute persons involved in vote buying. There is an electoral act that defines how election funds should be uh, managed and who should finance elections. And I think that is the law of the land. You understand? And uh, uh, Nigerians are law abiding and the EFCC is working towards ensuring you know, that uh, all of that is uh, in compliance with by all Nigerians and politicians. And we're working hand in gloves with INEC and other stakeholders to ensure that uh, happens. We continue to do what we have to do. Uh, we are trying to ensure that uh, illegitimate funds are not finding their way into our own electoral processes. And for those that are not buying, we continue to arrest them more hand in gloves with, uh, with um, but I need to ensure that um, the cases are in court. You should find out on that. You know, I, I don't know the status of the cases of hand now. And speaking on the redesigning of Naira notes by the Central Bank of Nigeria, Bauer gave the move a nod. Come the policy. It's a good thing that uh, that the country is uh, redesigning its uh, currency now because uh, you can. How can you control? Uh, uh, how can you have an effective monetary policy when you don't have control over 85 percent of your currency? It's out there and people are holding it. People are using that, uh, you know, to speculate on the foreign exchange and all of that. So by by coming up with this uh, uh, policy, the government is trying to contain that and ensure that those people that are bringing back all these monies, whether legitimately and or illegitimately and will be able to monitor and 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 then the right course of the law will uh, you know uh, take his course he urged youths to support the commission to rid the nation of cyber crimes and other criminal activities associated with the cyberspace these are people from uh, these are nigerians from my own constituency the youthful constituency they should join uh, you know me in fighting the scourge of uh, you know cyber crime it bleeds my heart when they are doing something that ordinarily they shouldn't do you know and all of it we are working it's part of our mandate to fight uh, cyber crime to fight advanced free fraud and that is the only thing that we have been uh, we have been doing and we are we are working in conformity with the law uh, as at uh, uh, the 22nd of uh, uh, October this year, we have succeeded in securing 2,847 convictions, you know, and over 70 percent has to do with the issue of cyber crime. The activities of these cyber criminals is uh, tarnishing our image by the day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.